So we're going to do this question together. It shows you three forces of five Newton, four Newton, and three Newton acting on an object in the same Cartesian plane. So what I want you to do here is you want to calculate the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the object. As you can see, this question is for 10 marks, which is a lot in an exam. So 10 marks means we need to show a lot of calculations. We can't just come up with a final answer or one line and think we're going to get the marks. So let's quickly do this. Firstly, I'm going to come up with some names for these forces. So I'm going to call the 5 Newton force F1, the 3 Newton force F2, and this diagonal force F3, just so I don't lose track of what I'm doing. My next step is going to be to split F1, F2, and F3 into its components, which means X and Y components. So if I go and I split F1 into its components, we can see that F1 is only a vertical force, therefore F1 in the X direction will be 0 Newton. F1 in the Y direction is going to be 5 Newton and the direction upward. So they is no need for us to go and use sin or cos here because it's not a diagonal force. If we go and we look at F2, F2 in the x direction is going to be equal to 3 Newton to the right, and F2 in the y direction doesn't have a y component, so once again here, yeah, 0 Newton. And then when we go and look at F3, and this is where we need to focus and use our trigonometry to solve this, for F3 in the X direction, it's going to be 4 Newton. Remember, in the X direction, it's cos. And now we use the 45 degree angle. So if you use your calculator, 4 cos 45 degrees is going to give you 2,83 Newton, rounded off to two decimals. Remember, this force F3 is also pointing in the right-hand direction, which means this is 2,83 Newton to the right. If we go and we look at F3 in the Y direction, it's going to be 4 sin 45 degrees. You use the 45 degree angle because we're interested in the angle with the x-axis. 4 sin 45 degrees gives you 2,83 Newton as well. This is going to be downwards. Okay, so now we split all of our forces into components. What do we do next? We go and we calculate the resultant force in the x direction. It's going to be F1x plus F2x plus F3x. And this is going to give me F1x was 0. F2x was 3 newton to the right. So I'm going to make to the right positive, which means it's plus 3 plus this F3x is 2,83, also to the right, therefore positive. I come up with an answer of 5,83 Newton to the right. Then for my resultant force in the y direction, I'm going to use F resultant y. It's going to be F1y plus F2y plus F3y. F1y was given as 5 Newton upwards, so I'm going to make upwards positive plus F2y, F2y was 0, and F3y is now downward, so it's going to be minus 2,83 Newton. And this is going to give me 5 minus 2,83, which is basically going to give me 2,17 Newton. It's positive, which means it's upwards. Now, I'm not done yet. I've now calculated the horizontal and vertical components of my resultant. I still need to go and get my resultant. So, I do... 5,83 Newton on my x-axis or in the horizontal direction and I do that line is too long and I do 2,17 Newton upwards now to get my resultant I connect the start of my first vector with the end of my last vector and by using Pythagoras I can go and solve this resultant so if resultant overall is going to be equal to 5,83 squared plus 2,17 squared and we get the square root by using our calculators so 5,83 squared plus 2,17 squared gives you 36, 
no, 38,69 or 7. You leave the rounded off answer on your calculator, you get the square root of this answer, and you should get your resultant as 6,22 Newton. Now we've calculated the magnitude of F resultant, but we haven't yet calculated the angle. And forces are vectors, which means we need direction and magnitude. So I'm going to use tan theta. Tan theta is going to be opposite, 2,17 over adjacent, 5,83. So if you take your calculator and you divide 2,17 by 5,83, you should get an answer of 0,3722. Then take your calculator, shift, then answer, and your angle is going to be 20,42 degrees. Now, what have we done up to this point? We've looked at vectors in two dimensions. We've looked at resultant vectors. If you have more than one line in the horizontal or in the vertical, you need to calculate the resultant of the horizontal and the vertical then sketch that and use Pythagoras to solve your resultant. My final answer here is going to be if resultant equals 6,22 Newton at an angle of 20,42 degrees with the x-axis.